Hey sports card fans, it's John Wade Boggs fan. Hope you're all doing well. It's time to take the monthly look at the top 10 PSA Vintage Baseball card sales on eBay for cards from the 1950s, 60s, and 70s for the month of April 2024. For this month from the 1950s, there are a few surprises that made the list. For the 1960s, there's a pretty good variety of some high-end vintage cards. And for a change, the 1970s do not contain any of those PSA registry type sales. It's full of Hall of Famers or potentially should be Hall of Fame players. So with that, let's go check out the cards. Let's start off with the cards from the 1950s. Coming in at number 10, we have this 1955 Topps Willie Mays in a PSA 8. This one sold on April 5th for $6,500. It was a best offer. The current VCP average price for a PSA 8 is $8,605. The record high sale was $10,499 back in March of 2021 through eBay. At number 9, we have another 1955 Tops, the Jackie Robinson, also in a PSA 8. This one sold on April 21st for $6,550. It was a buy it now. The current VCP average price for a PSA 8 is $7,370. The record high sale, though, was $11,500 back in October of 2021 through PWCC. At number 8, we have this 1952 Burke Ross Mickey Mantle in a PSA 5. This one sold on April 16th for $7,350. It was an auction. There were 40 bids. The current VCP average price is this current sale price of $7,350. And it's, it sold a little bit short of the record high sale of $8,700 back in February of 2023 through PWCC. At number 7, we have this 1953 Bowman Stan Musial in a PSA 8.5. This one sold on April 25th for $7,600. It was an auction. There were 27 bids. The current VCP average price for an 8.5 is $6,200, so this sale is a new record high for a PSA 8.5. The previous high was $4,800 back in August of 2023 through REA and happened to be the same exact card as this one that sold in April. And in an 8.5, there's a population of only three. At number six, we have the 1954 Topps Jackie Robinson in a sharp PSA 8. This one sold on April 11th for $9,504. It was a buy it now. The current VCP average price for a PSA 8 is $6,844. The record high sale for a PSA 8 was $11,011 back in May of 2023 through Memory Lane. Now there was one other significant uh, 54 Tops Jackie Robinson sale. That one was on April 22nd. It was a, another PSA 8 copy, and that one sold for $7,000. Coming in at number five, we have this 1952 Tops Willie Mays in a PSA 4.5. This one sold on April 15th, for $9,506. It was an auction. There were 45 bids. The current VCP average price for a 4.5 is $9,570. However, this particular sale was not in VCP's database. The record high sale for a 4.5 was $33,600 back in April of 2022 through REA. And there was one other significant 52 Tops Willie Mays sale in April. It was a PSA 3 copy that sold on April 26th for $5,250. On to number 4. We have this 1959 Tops Stan Musial in a PSA 9. 
This one sold on April 2nd for $11,000. It was a best offer. The current VCP average price for a PSA 9 is $8,872. The sale wasn't the record high sale though. The record high sale for a PSA 9 was $12,600 back in September of 2022 through Heritage. Now in a PSA 9, there have only been 28 graded copies and none have been graded a PSA 10. At number three, we have this 1951 Bowman Mickey Mantle rookie card in a PSA 4. This one sold on April 28th for $16,500. It was a best offer. The current VCP average price for a PSA 4 is $15,115. The record high sale though was $48,000 back in April of 2022 through PWCC. Now there was one other significant 51 Bowman Mickey Mantle sale, this one to PSA 2, that sold on April 4th for $9,600. On to number 2. We have this 1952 Topps Jackie Robinson in a very nice PSA 6. This one sold on April 29th for $25,200. It was at auction, there were 79 bids. The current VCP average price for a PSA 6 is $23,552. Although this sale fell short of the record high sale of $40,300 back in March of 2021, three PWCC listing on eBay. And there was one other significant 52 tops Jackie Robinson sale in April. This one, a PSA 4, that sold on April 7th for $10,901. And the number one card for the 1950s is this 1951 Bowman Willie Mays rookie card in a PSA 8 off center. This one sold on April 18th for $29,500. It was a best offer. The current VCP average price for a PSA 8 qualifier card is $22,800. Now, this particular sale was not in VCP's database. The record high sale for a PSA 8 off center was $31,980 back in March of 2021. Huggins and Scott and was actually the same exact card that sold back in 2021. However, in April of 2024, only sold for $29,500. Now, there were two other significant 51 Bowman Willie Mays sales in April. One was a PSA 5 that sold on April 4th for $15,300 and then a PSA 4 copy that sold on April 29th for $7,850. All right, on to the cards from the 1960s. Coming in at number 10, we have this 1960 Topps Mickey Mantle in a PSA 8. This one sold on April 29th for $5,900. It was an auction, there, were only, there was only one bidder. The current VCP average price for a PSA 8 is $6,784. The record high sale was $12,000 back in February of 2024 through Heritage. At number nine, we have another Mickey Mantle. This one, the 1963 Tops Mickey Mantle in a PSA 8. This one sold on April 12th for $5,900. It was a best offer. The current VCP average price for a PSA 8 is $5,872, although this particular sale was not in VCP's database. The record high sale though was $14,700 back in March of 2023 through eBay. At number 8, this is a card that uh, has shown up uh, before a few months ago. Um, a rather interesting card. It's the 1969 Tops Pirates Rookie with the No Black Outline Error Variation. This one in a PSA 4. 
This one sold on April 7th for $8,230, according to eBay. It was an auction. There were 32 bids, but this card, just like last time, was not in VCP's database. And there's been no reported sales of a PSA 4 ever within VCP's database. Now, in a PSA 4, there's only a population of three, and only 11 have been graded higher than a PSA 4. So very interesting listing here. According to eBay, it was a sale, although it's never been found on VCP's database for recorded sales. At number seven, we have this 1968 Opeachy Nolan Ryan rookie card in a PSA 7. This one sold on April 14th for $8,888. It was an auction. There were 34 bids. The current VCP average price for a PSA 7, though, is only $4,501 and does not include this particular sale within their database. The record high sale for a PSA 7 was $11,000 back in April of 2021 through eBay. At number six, we have this 1966 Topps Roberto Clemente in a PSA 9. This one sold on April 25th for $10,165. It was an auction. There were 47 bids. The current VCP average price for a PSA 9 is $11,000. The record high sale, though, was $21,000 back in January of 2023 through Heritage. Now, in a PSA 9 here, there are only 39 graded copies and there has not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the 66 Tops Roberto Clemente. At number five, we have this 1969 Tops Nolan Ryan in a PSA 9. This one sold on April 7th for $10,200. It was an auction. There were 49 bids. The current VCP average price is $10,524. However, the record high sale was $19,200 back in February of 2024 through Heritage. Now, there have been 127 copies graded a PSA 9. Only three have been graded a PSA 10. At number four, we have this 1962 Tops Willie Mays in a PSA 8. This one sold on April 24th for $11,151. It was an auction. There were 43 bids. The current VCP average price is $10,815. However, the record high sale for PSA 8 was $12,000 back in April of 2023 through PWCC. At number three, we have this 1961 Topps Mickey Mantle in a nine uh, print defect. Uh, supposedly, according to the listing, there are uh, some small print dots, I believe, on the front of the card, maybe down near the, uh, the Mickey Mantle and New York Yankees, or some small little fish eyes in the black border. Other than that, it is a near perfect card. This one sold on April 11th for $24,000. It was a best offer. The current VCP average price for a PSA 9 qualifier is $12,610. So for a PSA 9 qualifier card, this is a new record high sale. The previous high was $2,499, which was a PSA 9 off-center card. And that one sold on April in April of 2020 through eBay. At number two, we have the 1967 Topps Rod Carew rookie card in a PSA 9. This one sold on April 27th for $25,970. It was a buy it now and sold quite above the current VCP average price of $15,156, although this particular sale was not in VCP's database. And it was nearly a record high sale. The record high sale for a PSA 9 was $26,400 back in March of 2021 through Heritage. 
Now, there have been 62 copies graded a PSA 9. There's only been one graded a PSA 10. And the number one card for the 1960s, this 1969 tops Mickey Mantle last name in yellow in a PSA 9. This one sold on April 12th for $30,000. It was a best offer. Now, the current VCP average price for a PSA 9 is only $20,221, but VCP's database did not have this particular sale in their data set. The record high sale for a PSA 9 was $32,509 back in October of 2021 through Memory Lane. Now, there have been 65 copies graded a PSA 9. Only two have been graded a PSA 10. All right, let's take a look at the cards from the 1970s. Coming in at number 10, we have this 1972 Topps Nolan Ryan in a PSA 9, one of my favorite Nolan Ryan cards. This one sold on April 24th for $3,284. It was an auction. There were 46 bids. The current VCP average price for a PSA 9 is $3,971. However, the record high sale was $6,000 back in September of 2022 through eBay. There have been 194 graded a PSA 9. Only 9 have been graded a PSA 10. At number 9, we have this 1976 Topps Lou Brock in a PSA 10. This one sold on April 3rd for $3,639. It was an auction, there were 19 bids, and this is the current VCP average price and represents a new record high sale for the 1976 tops in a PSA 10. The previous high was only $535 all the way back in October of 2007 on eBay. Now, while there have been 346 graded a PSA 9, this copy here is one of only 12 that have been graded a PSA 10. At number 8, we have the 1977 Topps Dale Murphy rookie card in a PSA 10. We've seen this card show up occasionally on the top 10 list. This one sold on April 15th for $3,756. It was an auction. There were 38 bids. The current VCP average price for a PSA 10 is $3,797. The record high sale was $5,777 back in October of 2022 through eBay. Now, there have been 680 graded a PSA 9, but this copy here is one of only 66 that have been graded a PSA 10. At number seven, we have the 1971 Topps Willie McCovey in a PSA 9. Really hard uh, to find super high graded 71 Topps cards because of that black border. This one sold on April 8th for $3,900. It was a best offer and represents the current VCP average price of $3,900. The record high sale though was $12,000 back in January of 2022 through Heritage. Now, there's not been a PSA 10, a graded copy of the 71 Tops William McCovey. This one here in a PSA 9 is one of only 18 that have been graded at that level. At number six, we have the 1975 Tops George Brett in a PSA 9. This one sold on April 17th for $4,600. It was an auction. There were five bids. Current VCP average price for a PSA 9 is $5,111, although this particular sale was not in VCP's database. The record high sale for a PSA 9 was $8,562 back in July of 2021 through memory lane. Now, there have been 325 copies graded a PSA 9, only 11 have been graded a PSA 10. At number 5, we have this 1974 Topps Tom Seaver in a Tom Terrific PSA 10. Just a great looking action shot 
of uh, Tom Seaver there. This one sold on April 7th for $6,669. It was an auction. There were three bids and sold for a little bit less than the current VCP average price for a PSA 10 of $7,334 and sold for well below the record high sale of $12,199 back in February of 2022 through memory lane. Now there have been 208 graded a PSA 9. This one here is one of only 19 that have been graded a PSA 10. On to number four. We have the 1971 Topps rookie card of Dusty Baker and Don Baylor. This one sold on April 15th for $6,878. It was an auction. There were 25 bids. Now in this PSA 9 copy, the current VCP average price is this current sale of $6,878. And it represents a new record high sale for this high number short print card in the 1971 top set. The previous high was $5,400 back in April of 2023 through REA. Now, there have only been 10 copies graded a PSA 9, and none have been graded a PSA 10. On to number 3. We have this 1971 Tops, another 71 Tops card, this one of Rod Carew, also in a PSA 9. This one sold on April 25th for $7,998. It was an auction, there were 18 bids. The current VCP average price for a PSA 9 though is $8,649. The record high sale is $8,100 back in February of 2021 through Heritage. Now in a PSA 9, there've only been 16 graded copies and there has not been a PSA 10 graded copy of the Rod Carew card. And number two, we have the 1975 Tops Nolan Ryan in a PSA 9. This one sold on April 24th for $8,434. It was an auction, there were 49 bids. The current VCP average price for a PSA 9 is $8,642. However, the record high sale is $8,850, which was on November of 2023 through eBay. Now, this PSA 9 here represents one of 76 copies rated a PSA 9. There have only been three rated a PSA 10. And on to the number one card from the 1970s. It's another 75 tops card. This one is Steve Garvey in a PSA 10. This one sold on April 20th for $10,000. It was a buy it now. Now the current VCP average price is only $3,139. And that's because this particular sale was not in their database. Uh, the $10,000 sale of this card does represent a new record high sale for a PSA 10. The previous high was $3,638 back in April of 2021 through eBay. Now there have been 199 copies graded a PSA 9, but this particular copy here in a PSA 10 is one of only 13 graded copies. There you go, the top 10 PSA vintage baseball card sales on eBay for cards from the 1950s, 60s, and 70s. As always, would love to know what you think about the cards that made the top 10 lists. And with that, that's all I have for you. So until next time, thanks for watching.